Okay, so we're gonna jump in quickly and try to get this tutorial done quickly. Um, I was gonna do a voiceover, but then I just decided to talk through, so if you can hear my air conditioning going, I apologize, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this as quick as I possibly can, and I figured I would talk through it. Um, I hope my lighting is good. I'm in a video in a little bit, so if I'm a little extra awkward, if I'm a little extra awkward in this video, I apologize. Side note though, I feel like my brows actually might be okay in this video. They're long, so they're sort of curly, but I'm trying to grow them out. But I'm thinking I'm liking the brows and the lip. The lip is ColourPop Keen, I think. A three-way. Three-way. Um, okay, so. So you want to prep your hair with some kind of sea salt spray and mousse. Um, if your hair doesn't have a lot of volume to it, I do have a couple of extensions in. And uh, But if you don't have extensions and you need some volume, definitely a volumizing mousse will help you and a sea salt spray will help it create a lot of texture. If you have a lot of hair, you might want to clip each section off, but I don't have that much. And I'm just wearing my Foxy Lux extensions. I cut them and uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna start off with the bottom section. We're just gonna start with one section. You're gonna take your flat iron and you're gonna start maybe an inch to two inches away from your root. And you're going to go very slowly and round out the first bump. And then you're going to take the flat iron and you're gonna turn it upwards. And then turn it again, round it out. And then you want a super straight, straight end. Okay? And then every section that you do, obviously because it's very random with the curly iron, you're just going to get random waves. And then when they sit on top of each other, they're going to look a lot more natural. Okay, so you're just going to take your next section. Don't mind my awkward baby hairs. And again, you're going to start a couple inches away, round it up, off, and then open it up, under, and then round it down, and then smooth out that very end. And you really want the ends to be straight, and you're just going to continue this all the way down. So if you have long hair, it's the same thing, you're just going to have like four or five bends and then I would leave leave a good two inches at the end straight so it all depends on your hair length but same technique basically throughout okay so now we're gonna take this section and again you're gonna go up and under and then you're gonna and I'm gonna just round that off a tiny bit at the end. Okay, so now we're getting up to the front section here. Now, Norm, if you had longer hair in the, or if you have longer hair in the front, you're gonna do this on the top front section. But because I have shorter bangs, and if you do have a shorter bang, I'm gonna show you how you blend that in with it. But if you have longer pieces, you're gonna want to do this on the very front section because it's going to take the wave away from your face. If you do this front section the way we've been doing it, it can tend to fall like in your face and it's not as flattering as doing this technique. Now you can switch, um, this is like Jen Atkins technique and she does switch to a curling iron. I just, I don't really think you have to and it's just kind of annoying to have two hot tools. So going at the same time. So what you can do, we're gonna take this front section and instead of doing the same technique we have been doing all throughout, you're gonna change this and you're just going to grab this middle section and you're kinda just gonna roll it and then you're gonna let it go. And then you're gonna take the flat iron and just run that through the end. So again, the end is super straight. Okay, and that's just trying to keep that piece off your face and this is are very short for myself so again I'm just gonna do kind of like a bump and then under a little bit 
and then finish that off straight, but I'm gonna bend it a little. And so this front piece, I'm gonna smooth out the top and then I'm just gonna round off that edge. I'm not really gonna make it super curly. My hair is curly, so it will curl on its own. And then I'm gonna show you how to finish it off. And when you're doing all the finishing, touches and all the other products, I will get a bit more of a bend in the bang. So I don't actually personally like to do a wave, but you very well can if you feel you need to. I'm pulling the hair from the back of my head forward and just kind of like not starting right at the root. You're just starting at the middle. This is a lot easier if your hair is longer. I find it a little bit more challenging on shorter hair because you don't have much to bend and then make the end straight. So I actually think it looks really good on long hair because you can leap like two or three inches straight and then it gives it more of that undone look. And then so up. And then you're gonna go under. You can unclamp it if you want to, totally up to you. Or just kind of bend it like what I did. I feel like your wave's a little bit more intense when you do that. It's totally up to you. Okay, again. So we're going to go under and then up and then finish off that end. And I'm going to round that end in just a tiny little bit. Okay, so then you're gonna do this stubborn little back piece here. And then I always find that this piece just works better curled, to be honest with you. So you can take your flat iron again and kind of turn like I did before, let go, and then just go over straight. Okay, so now you're just finishing everything up. If there's a couple more pieces that you wanted to go back over, I'm gonna go back over this one. These extensions are like, new and I wash them and I think they're just a little bit too soft for this look so I'm just kind of going back over to wave a couple of more sections but um, the best part about this look is it doesn't need to be perfect it's supposed to be really messy so that's pretty much it and with the curling iron again like you can go or with the flat iron you can go back in and wave a few more sections if you need to like you can take a few more random pieces I like to go back over the top sections and just take like really tiny sections and kind of go under and over and around and that just kind of defines it a little bit more finish it off there's a couple things you're gonna do you're gonna take uh, you can use a dry shampoo but a texturizing spray works really good for this because you want some volume in it uh, Chloe Kardashian always has tons of volume, so you're just going to kind of go in and spray. Dry, text or dry shampoo will give you a little bit of grit in the hair and everything, but I feel like um, you get a better hold and your volume lasts a little bit longer when you use a texturizing spray. And this is the Redken Wax Blast, which I love, but it stinks like a man, but it works really good and your hair is not crunchy at the end of the day so that's a good thing and just so you see there it gives you so much more volume and with a wax or a pomade to do this next step but for me my hair is quite damaged and dry and it's also fine so a wax or a pomade actually weighs my hair down a little too much so I actually prefer to use mousse or I prefer to use a styling cream. I think cream today, and this is the Kardashian blow dry cream. Um, but you can also use a wax or a paste or a pomade, anything that you have. But um, 
for finer hair and if you want to like your hair doesn't hold a lot of volume and you want to keep the volume I would actually recommend um, a cream or like a mousse so you're just going to put a little bit of this in your the palms of your hand same thing if you want to use a wax Bumble and Bumble has a great wax again I will leave that down in the description bar so you can just kind of put this cream in your hands and you are gonna just twist the hair and kind of rub it. And again, this is the total Jen Atkin um, trick. I watched this on her Snapchat, and this is pretty much how she gets that really nice textured hair. Um, now, I like the, like I said, I like personally, I like the cream only because for my hair, my hair is actually damaged and dry and this kind of smooths out any of the flyaways but still allows it to give me a little bit of texture and then you just kind of rub it in your hands and again this is like a great trick ever since i saw this on her snapchat um i've been loving it and uh you should follow her i'll leave her like snapchat name and stuff because she's so she's so good she snaps so much and she lists so many different products that she uses and tips and tricks and I just think she's awesome. So, totally like ripping her techniques off, but I don't even care because they work so good. And that's pretty much it. So as you can tell, like after you put all your products in and kind of like roughed it up, it really gives it that like beachy vibe, but it's not like your typical like dry, crunchy, beachy, like my hair still feels really good and I can still wear this tomorrow and the next day and it still looks awesome. So I hope you guys like this summer textured um, hair, whatever I'm going to call it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. I think it's easy enough to achieve. The, um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe because I love when people subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.